got some meat here for our neighbor's dog since this is our last night here. Got some hot dogs for the little small dogs and these little small little uh, steak things that we put a little bit of barbecue sauce on. And this big steak here, a uh, piece of beef is for the biggest dog over there. And then we've got some hot dogs, some extra hot dogs here. And here's some more hot dogs for them. I don't know how these dogs are going to eat all this. But that's what we're going to do. Well, at least Sam and Aaron are going to give these to the dogs. I'm not. I'll probably watch. Oh, they're going to enjoy this. But, uh, we'll do what we can. Now, these, Aaron, those are the girls, too, okay? Also, all the hot dogs go quicker. Yeah. Now, Lola's going to get greedy. If he does, <laughs> I'm just getting that whole thing. Yeah. Excuse me. Try to give them their little treats. We're going to miss the dogs. Because this is our last night here in this house. And yes, I've been tearing up. Hey, your school might be brighter. Lovers. Lovers. Hi, Hi, Lobo. <laughs> oh, you guys can't see him. We can. No, I can't. Look at him. Lobo. This is your treat. Lobo <laughs> says I'm busy. I'm I eating. Oh. There you go again, Lobos. Try to use the fork so you don't have to bring it. No, no, I'm not kidding. Yeah, you want some more. Brandon, put this stuff next. Brandon! Lobos don't care. He's enjoying it. Oh, I got it wrong. I didn't have my angle. Woo! Tossing the food over. Got checking the hot dogs for the girls. Oh, yeah. We're almost done with these. Thank you, Brandon. Lobos said, bring it on. Uh, is, it, is he getting it? Oh yeah, for sure. I see him, but I can't see if he's eating it. Wait a minute, how in the world is he can eat all that? And how's he able to chew that? He swallows and grind it. that up. He doesn't. He doesn't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he never. No, scream. that's okay. Is he? Oh god. <laughs> oh boy. Nippers. I have no makeup on. Guys, I've been tearing up. I better, not, <laughs> I better not talk about it again, otherwise I'll be tearing up. This is the night before we move, so I surprised my neighbor and gave her some flowers. I gave her a card, and my husband gave her husband a gift, too. And uh, she, she didn't tear up right then and there, but when she got in the house, she teared up. She told me, she texted me, she goes, I'm tearing up now. And I did, and I said, okay, here we go, let's give virtual hugs. So I took my arms and squeezed myself as if I'm giving her a hug. And she did the same. She had her mask on. I had my mask on. So, oh, boy, I tell you, these have been some really good neighbors to us. Um, very kind, and um, it's, it, it hurts. <sighs> I'm going to miss this house. I'm going to miss the neighborhood. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And I know that. You guys probably hear the dog barking. Ah. Uh. I'm walking over here to give myself some privacy to talk to you guys. <laughs> Cause, mm, it just hurts so bad to leave this neighborhood and the house. Ooh. It hurts. Oh, gosh. But, you know, I'm just so happy that we can call them our friends. She has my number, I have her number, and you know, if we ever want to come by and say hi or whatever, we can do that. And I'm pretty sure Aaron is going to want to feed the dogs, you know, say hi to, the, to them, but 
Oh, boy. Ooh. Anywho. <laughs> By the time you guys see this video, we would have already been moved to the next house. So, it's just something temporary. It's not our dream house. Um, I don't know what kinds of things I'm going to show you guys about it. Uh, I'll be doing some videos in the house. I have to, but you know, it's something that we, we, we have to just accept and take. But anyway, yeah, I'm about to go back in the house and do some last minute packing and we're well, not packing, but last minute types of little things. I'm not good at saying goodbye to people. No. I get very emotional. Um, they have been the best neighbors that I have ever had in my life. And all the places I moved from, they have been the best. So, anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next scene or whenever I talk to you. Bye. Hey guys this is the day we moved saturday august 29th and uh i am so tired we are finally moved and i can't i'm not saying that with excitement so <laughs> um somebody said well you should be excited but no i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm just thankful that we got it all done well we got the majority of it done we're gonna have to go back sunday and we got to rent another truck, but a very small truck for some last minute things because everybody is just exhausted and tired. And um, it's about six o'clock now, and we got to take the truck back because we only rented it for one day. So my husband is going to rent a smaller one tomorrow just for the last minute things that we left at the old house. And then I've got to, you know, do what I can to tidy up in there. But it's been, it's been quite a day. We started at, actually we started at 8, 7.30 or 8 o'clock this morning uh, when everybody arrived at the house. We had uh, Sam's nephews, his, um, his brother, I had my mother and one of our neighbors to help us. Well, actually the neighbor, they called and asked, you know, did we want some help? So we said, okay, sure, if you want to, you know. He did not let us pay him at all. He was like, nope, nope, nope. He, said, he was adamant about it. He says, no, no. You guys have been wonderful neighbors to us. So in return, you know, he just felt like it was his duty to do something for us. So 
great neighbors. We love them so much and I'm going to miss them. Yes, yes, yes. But anyway, I'm following Sam right now because he's got to gas up the, you know, the truck again. Well, not again, but gas it up. And then we got to take the truck back. And then after that, we're going to get some food. <laughs> the only thing I ate this morning was, well, first of all, I had a cup of coffee. I'm sorry for the glare. I had a cup of coffee and... Um, after that, about two hours after that, I ate an apple. After the apple, um, it was like hours later, and I was like so hungry and so weak. I had got me a cupcake. Yes, I got me a cupcake. Just one though, because I figured, you know, you need some, you need some calories when you're, you know, doing all this, moving around and stuff like that. And I know I've burned a lot of calories, so I'm not even concerned about eating that cupcake. Not at all. But anywho, I just wanted to pop on and um, share this moment with you guys. Um, I tell you, at that house, oh gosh. The house is a little bit smaller. It's the same. It's a three-bedroom house. Um three bedroom house but it's it's a little smaller the rooms are a little bit smaller the garage is a little bit smaller and uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of some stuff you know I got all my decor in the garage and uh, you know for the time being whew, I feel so overwhelmed I really do I feel so overwhelmed because um, it's just so much stuff and you know how it is when you move you seem to have more things. Um, turn this air conditioning down. You seem to have a lot more things when you move. But anyway, I wanted to tell you guys. Um, we're going to plan on just living in this house. If we can, just for a year. If not sooner than that. We want to move. Because we, we're on the east side of where we live. We want to be on the west side where we're moving from that's where we want to be and our neighbors when we came back she was like oh good you're back I'm like no nah, I wish we were back I really do she misses us so much but yeah we're only gonna we're only planning to be at this house for a year now um, I'm just believing that everything will work out so that we can move um, now I know I've said I don't like moving and I don't like moving I don't like to go somewhere then have to pack up again I don't like this wishy-washy but in situations that we were finding ourselves in um, this is just a temporary house um, because we're not planning to stay there 500 years no it's an old house just like the one we just moved out of but um, you know we're gonna make it work I'm just gonna think positive my son Aaron he's doing a lot of complaining about this and that but you know what you you have to not complain so much you have to learn to be thankful and just be thankful that you have a roof over your head because you could be out in the street you could be under some freeway overpass path you know so um no air condition no refrigerator to put food in so i was telling him don't don't complain be thankful for what you have because it could be a lot worse now, like I was saying before, the reason and the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because we're not in our dream house yet. Um, the one we just moved from wasn't our dream house, but it was nicer than um, it. It was nicer than the one that we're moving into. But we had to. Um, I'm not going to go into all the details, but we had to move, and we only had three months to move. Um, this pandemic situation has really um it has really affected everybody so that's part of the reason why we had to move so suddenly you know finding a house within three months so it's just one of those things but god provided and i just want to thank you guys for all of you who prayed for me and my family thank you so much i really appreciate it um I needed the prayers. I still do. So <laughs> you can continue praying if you like. But I wish I could get a better. Let's see, 
you guys can see me better. There, that's a little better. It's a little dark, but um, I do appreciate it. Um, we all need to be lifted up from time to time. You know, I really do. And I pray for you guys, too. All of my subscribers, all of my uh, fellow YouTubers, I pray for you guys as well. As your, for your channels, for my channel, and everything. But um, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I'm just waiting for him to gas up this truck and then we go take it back. Um, and I have not had much water. I only had maybe, this is probably two bottles in all these hours from 8 a.m. to now 6 p.m. Two bottles of water. Now, that's not, that's not good. But you... Oh, hello, everybody. Day two of the move. <laughs> Woo! How is everybody doing today? Are you guys doing good? I have to say, I'm doing good under the circumstances. Um, like I said, this is day two. We have so much stuff. I mean, I did not realize how much stuff that I have accumulated. Uh, a lot of home decor that I had in the uh, garage. I'm going to have to give rid, get rid of some of it. I tell you guys, ooh, it's been stressful. And let me tell you, I didn't go to sleep last night until 3.30, 3 all of us. 3.30. We went back and forth to the house a couple of times to pack up our car and... Um, put some stuff away and we had to return the truck like I told you yesterday and um, I think I told you uh, we should have had it for two days we really should have okay guys I hope you can see me it is what day is this this is um, no what day is it <laughs> I'm so tired huh I'm so tired it is Sunday night and I didn't even remember it was Sunday but we are finally finished moving. Woo -hoo! I can't believe it. Oh boy. And we're tired. We are so tired. We had to go back to the house, um, to the old house, a couple of times. And our neighbor that I told you helped us with his truck. He had to, you know, he could only do it one time. So he helped us fill up the truck once and then he had to come on home because you know he had to go to work the next day which is monday so we appreciate his help and he did receive some money because first he didn't want to we we're like we're gonna pay you something we're gonna give you something so he let us even though he didn't want to and then let me see what else uh my mother was allowed i mean my mother was able to help you know have us go back and forth in her uh van and fill up her car and then fill up ours so we really thought we were going to have to get that truck for Monday morning and we were determined I mean we hustled you guys we got in there and start grabbing things I have like things up under my armpit I mean we were just grabbing stuff I mean I had a, like a bag on almost on every finger something up under the armpit I mean just trying to hustle and sorry for the shaking trying to hustle to get everything out because we were determined we're not coming back Monday morning you know what I mean whoa boy but we did it and uh, I cried again I really did because we heard the dogs barking and we were putting all of our trash you know in the trash bins and yeah I started to cry I was like oh I just feel so sad man I really do but it's going to be okay. I know it's going to be okay. It is going to be okay. But anyway, I just want to check in and let you guys know that we have finally finished. Now we've got so much stuff in that house. I tell you, I'm talking about the new house. So I've got to, I'm going to have to throw away a whole lot more. I really am. Can you turn that down for a second? Yeah, I'm going to have to throw away a whole lot of stuff. It's just, but anywho... Anywho, <laughs> I'm so tired I can't even talk straight. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope to see you next time. I don't know when I'm going to do any home decor videos. 
just going to have to wait until I get unpacked and, and settled in, okay? All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.